And you know, during all these years, uh, there's only been two executive directors of COG. Bill Pitstick was, was the first, ex first executive director of COG. Um, Bill Pitstick was a very strong leader. Um, he came out of the city manager role and, and played that role beautifully. I've never worked with anyone in government for whom I had more respect than I have still for Bill Pitstick. He had a vision and he had ideas, but he would plant them in the members of the board's mind and make them think that they had come up with the idea. And it was uh, my interactions with Bill Pitstick that I remember particularly having an impact upon my thinking and my realization that what was going on here at the Council of Government was really a very significant activity. I thought Bill Pitstick was one that once he wasn't there anymore, I think the whole thing would fall apart. And uh, sure enough, the board was wise enough to get Mike Eastland to be his successor, and Mike has done a magnificent job of leadership and continues to do that. Uh, a testament to the kind of people they were and are. People who can get along with all of them. I think that says a lot there. Uh, and, and so from the, from the administrative top and the personnel that's selected, I think, I think Bill and Mike have just done an incredible job. I think the next major issue is going to be uh, if, if and when Mike decides he wants to enjoy his family more and, uh, and, and get into private life, uh, I think that's going to be a major issue to try to find someone that can live up to the, to the standard of leadership that Bill Pitstick and Mike Eastland have, have exhibited. And they have, in my opinion, have just done a superb job.